those with hidden virtues will naturally be known by the heavens and will be rewarded. Those who practice visible goodness are known by people and they enjoy fame. Fame itself is a fortune, but fame is not favored by heaven and earth. For heaven and earth do not like those who seek fame. We can see that those who have great fame, but lack the virtues supporting it, they will eventually encounter some kind of unthinkable adversity. A person who truly has not done any wrong, but continues to be falsely accused by others, will have descendants who will suddenly become very prosperous and very, very successful. But then, why is there a saying that what seems to be goodness, but is actually not? In the spring-autumn period, there was a country named Lu, because there were other countries which took their citizens as slaves. The country of Lu made a law which rewarded those who paid the ransom to regain the freedom of their fellow citizens. At that time, Confucius had a student named Zi Gong, who did not accept the reward, although he paid for the ransom to free his people. But when Confucius heard this, he scolded Zi Gong, saying, You have acted wrongly in this matter. When saints and sages undertake anything, they strive to improve the social behavior, teaching people to be good and decent. One should not do something just because one feels like it in order to gain vanity fame. On hearing this, Zi Gong became puzzled and looked at Confucius with a frown. Confucius then explained to him, saying, in the country of Lu, the poor outnumber the wealthy. By refusing the reward, you lead others to think that accepting the reward money is being greedy. Thus, all the poor people who do not wish to appear greedy will hesitate to pay ransom in the future. Only very rich people will have a chance to practice this deed. If this happens, no one will pay ransom to free our people again. Another student of Confucius, Zi Lu, one saw a man drowning in the river, and he went forth to rescue him. Later, the man thanked him by giving him a cow as a token of gratitude. Zilu accepted his gift. Confucius was happy when he heard this and said, In the future, people will be willing and eager to help those who are drowning in deep waters or river. If we look at these two examples from the view of common people, Zi Gong, who did not accept the reward money, was good, and Zi Lu, who accepted the cow, was not as good. Who would have known that Confucius praised Zi Lu instead and scolded Zi Gong?